Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In the past few months, I have been making a lot of emotional beats that have been getting a decent amount of views, likes, and sales. And in today's video, I wanted to break down my process of making those kind of beats. So if you wanna open up your doll and follow along with me, uh, I'll show you exactly how I make these kind of beats and show you how you can make similar style of beats yourself. I go around 100 BPM for the tempo and then we just wanna pick a scale I generally like working in A minor. This is the soft piano that I use a lot in these beats. Other than that, I use analog lab piano. So we have our scale. We're just gonna start on the root note and create a bass line. So I usually like to go A, copy that. We'll go down five, one, two, three, four, five. Up one, and down three, one, two, three. And then this usually creates a nice emotional bass line. Then what I usually like to do is I'll copy these. I'll bring them up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then all you have to do is if you're in the right scale, you'll see three white lines. Just place a note in the center white line for your scale helpers. And there you have your triads. Cool, and then what we can do is we can do some inverting, maybe invert the last three and not the first one. I just like to do trial and error here. Like as long as you're hitting notes in the, in the scale, as long as you're hitting these white lines, I usually just skip one. Yeah, maybe we can go there. That sounds pretty good to me. What we can also do is we can mess with the timing of these chords. So I just highlighted these two chords and if I hold shift here, maybe I can drag this out and maybe do the same thing on this side. Uh, let's create a little bit of variation on the second half. So let's copy all of this on over. You can do that by what I just did. I highlighted everything. I hold shift, click, drag it over. Yeah, I like that. And then maybe, maybe I'll add in a note there too. That sounds good to me. A lot of times I like to lay down some sort of loop to get like a tempo going. You just copy that over. And then what I like to do with this top melody, typically with the velocity, you don't want it to be all the same. So like, I like to bring it down and I kind of follow, like if this is going down, then I'll bring the velocity down. This is going down, I'll bring the velocity down. That jumps back up a little bit. And I just follow that pattern across. This starts to go up, so I'll bring it up a little more. With the original chords, I do want to 
do a little bit of strumming. Alt S, or you can go to the tools there and you can hit strum. Um, I want to strum them this way. Let's mess with the velocity a little bit. And then I also like to randomize it because it still sounds a little robotic. So, and sometimes I'll hold alt and like redo these a little bit. Like I don't like how that's sounding and I might bring that down a tiny bit. And then also what I like to do is we'll just take the top melody for now. Let's delete this. Let me take this, go ahead and consolidate that. And now we have this high piano. We're going to reverse that. That way we create a nice little texture. And I think what I'm going to do actually is also just reverse this because it's a, lot, it's a lot busier in the second half and I don't want it to be too busy in the beginning. So now we need to add a little bit of effects on all this stuff. So for the main piano, just go up here. Let's do a cut. Let's cut out the lows. Make room for some low ends. And we can automate that. That way we can go ahead and bring the lows back in, take them in, take them out, um, depending on where we're at in the song. But for now, let's just keep that up. I'm going to add a little RC20 onto that just to get it a little bit more gritty. Vinyl 3 preset is one of my favorites. Turn that noise off. Add a little reverb onto that too. Little cathedral. Low cut, turn the bass down, dry down, wet up, turn the mix down. The same here, we're gonna add an EQ, make sure there's no, make sure there's no low end, cut that out to like 200. I might put a little pancake on before the reverb too. We're gonna go fast to slow, turn the mix down to like 45. Let's go ahead and layer that. I'm gonna go into Analog Lab and I am going to grab a pad. And all we're gonna do is copy the original chords over and try and see if we can layer these in here. Mm. And we're going to do the same thing with the pad. We're going to go ahead and cut out the low end. I'm going to add that same reverb. Let's go into Arcade. And I like to find like vocals or accents. I think this part might be too much. I think I might just take this. Let's go get some like real vocal chops. Wait for, wait for me. Uh. Wait, wait for me. Wait, wait for me. and just copy the bass notes. Boom, control C, paste them in. We gotta pitch some of these up though. And what we can do here too is we can shorten these and just make them all slide notes. Let's make them super short though. Just like that. And because there's like some high stuff in here, that's kind of clashing. So I'll probably consolidate the arcade again. And 
for the first half, I'm going to have it up. For the second half, I'm going to have it down. That way, it doesn't clash with any of like the high piano notes or anything. And that is pretty much how I start off my emotional melodies. I'm going to take a break here because I've been sitting for a little while. I'm going to go out and get some sunlight. I need to get some food. Make sure you're taking care of yourselves. It's one thing that I haven't been doing as often as I should be. So we're going to take a break. We're going to come back to this and add some drums. Pressure. 